Absolute laser beam this thing is, dude. YouTube, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best MX9 SMG class setup in Modern Warfare 2. In my opinion, the MX9 is so underrated and also just not even really used. I don't see a lot of people using this gun. I, I guess there is a lot of better choices, but it's so underrated. It's actually super good. I will be leaving the class setup at the end of the video, so make sure you guys do stay tuned to get the class setups, get the tunes, everything like that, so you can fry your lobby. Also, I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. I'm super close, so if you guys could consider hitting that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. Anyways, I hope you guys do go into enjoy the rest of today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Absolute laser beam this thing is, dude. The enemy holds two objectives. Enemies taking alpha. The enemy's gaining ground. We're taking Charlie. This thing is such a laser. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I didn't even see that guy. Let's go, I got it. Oh my goodness this thing is an absolute laser oh my god it's so underrated i never see anyone using this gun ever dude just look look at how straight this thing shoots this thing shoots so straight it's actually kind of insane you guys have to try this class setup it's actually insanity I gotta call it in. Like, look. Like, what? This thing, this thing has zero kick. It does burn through ammo pretty quick. So, again, extended mag would be great. But this class setup, this the way I have it right now is actually not bad. Pretty good. Alright guys. The UAV on station. Right securing Charlie. Securing Alpha. Ooh. That guy was AFK for a minute. Which is great. I'm gonna drop this nuke real quick. They're all looking this way. I don't know what one of them is. Thought I had a stem shot. Absolute dude, this thing is a It is a laser Dude, this guy's like what is he going for long shots that same dude has been in the same spot so many times
Oh my god, I got it. I wasn't talking, bro. I was really just locked in. I was really trying to... Okay. Nah, dude, this gun's a beam. It kind of struggles at range, like when it comes to damage, but overall, it's a beam. Overall, it's a beam. Wait. All saber. Mission accomplished. I didn't get to call it in? I'm not gonna lie, that's actually insane. Well, I didn't get to call the nuke in, but I got it, so... That's insane. So here are the attachments I was running in today's video. For the comb, I was running the FTAC C11 riser. Tuning this to plus 0.27 for the recoil stabilization and negative 0.17 for the aim down sight speed. Next for the optic, I was running the Cronin Mini Pro, a super good sight. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely try it. Probably my favorite red dot in the game. It's so clear. For this, you're just going to be tuning the aim down sight speed to negative 0.97 uh, and don't touch the eye position. Next for the barrel is going to be the 16.5 inch Bruin S901 barrel. Tuning this to plus 0.39 for the recoil steadiness and negative 0.05 for the aim down sight speed. For the muzzle, I was running the Syngard MKV, tuning this to plus 1.17 for the recoil smoothness and plus 0.84 for the bullet velocity. And last but not least, the 32 round magazine. This thing is definitely in need of a 32 round mag. Give you a little bit of extra bullets to take out, you know, maybe three, four people. It's kind of hard too with this gun, not gonna lie. It's just, you're very limited when it comes to ammo. That's one thing that I don't like about this gun is this is literally the only clip that you could put on here. You can't go any higher. So if I did have one like kind of iffy part about this gun, it would be the ammo. But, like it's definitely just not enough, but it does get the job done because this thing is an absolute laser beam. Anyways, give this class up a try. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.